the ideal mounting height for this unit is going to be between 32 and 35 inches, meaning 32 inches right in the middle. And you can bring that middle part from between 32 to 35 inches. This one sits a little bit low right now. And we had to do that because of the ceiling constraints that we're dealing with. We have very low ceilings in this room. But um, 32 to 35 inches for the center line is going to give you the uh, best working of the light bar, the movement of it, and keeping it out of the way of tall people. This is a heavy duty TV mount that we've adapted to use with the crystal light system. It has, let's read off what it has. A maximum reach straight out of 18 inches. 45 degree angle, it's 14 inches. So 14 inches there, 14 inches here. It can bring itself all the way out here or all the way out here to realign as needed. Now when you have the crystal lights on here, it's a little bit more awkward to move. It's not as free flowing as this. What is going to be installed is this chrome handle right here to help you move the piece around. What we're looking for is this chrome handle is always going to be facing the client. Uh, if we have this square piece over and it's not facing the client, you're going to find that it's not um, sitting correctly, meaning it's going to be tilted one direction or another. And that's mainly because we have this square block here offset so it tilts back to give you a better seating of the way this works. Um, so basically just make sure that the chrome handle faces the client. Behind here, this is the mounting base. The mounting base has two plastic cover plates. Basically push these up against the wood and slide them up. They have notches, four notches that are designed to work with this metal track. And a light touch, doing a little wiggle back and forth, and it snaps in place to give you an attractive coverall. The screws that we're using are industrial grade drywall screws, or more than drywall screws, um, these are really, really strong. They come in two and a half inch length and three and a half inch length. Uh, that should be sufficient to get through any amount of drywall and go right into the wood. These screw holes are both on either side, exactly 16 inches on center, which means that they align with studs when you have this correctly placed on a wall. You're looking for these to be right on studs. So these holes have to be on, on studs. It can be metal studs or wood studs. We just need studs. There's a total of eight of these. Now you're going to be getting a total of eight screws of each size. So eight of the two and a half and eight of the three and a half. Your choice based on what your needs are. Uh, we do not recommend the mollies or any of the anchors that butterfly out to grab it, we feel that that would not be strong enough with present day drywall. Uh, we, we would find that it would pull through. So you really need to anchor into studs. There are two methods that you can use to attach the power supply. The first one is to take the black square pieces, find the cutout, slide each one on and then slide 
the power pack in so the whole black shiny side is facing outward. So if you can read the light letters, that's the wrong side. You have to flip it around like that. And you can slide it in and then attach the power cord on the other side and that will lock it in place. The other method is to put these on first, find it and slide it on. There's a little blue light that's on this power supply that's right here in the corner. And that's why we want to have the all black shiny side facing out. 